Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to handle errors in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. If you're writing VB codes then error is something that you would have to deal with and you would encounter them quite often. VBA has given us some tools and some techniques to handle those errors and in this video I would talk about those techniques. So let me press Alt F11 to get into the edit mode. Here let me insert a module and now here I would write the code. Now let's say I want to do a very simple thing. I want some number to be entered here in A1 and I want the user to enter this number. So I would ask the user using an input box uh, to enter this number, any number and then the user would key in the number and then that number should appear here in cell A1. It sounds quite simple so let's do this. I would type sub and let's call the sub error handling and here I would declare the number and I would say number as long. Now what I would use is an input box and we have not talked about input box so far in this course and these are very similar to message boxes. What we would do is we would ask the user to enter a number and when you want to do that you would use something called as input box and when you open the bracket you would see that there are these these uh, arguments it's prompt title default context help file these are all x position y position these are things uh, that are also there in message box maybe not these two but you can use this and you can see that it would return uh, a string object in this case we want to enter a number so we would ask the user to enter a number and what this would do is it would show a pop-up then the user can enter a number and then that number would be stored in this variable which is number and then I want to enter it here in cell A1 so I would say range A1 dot value is equal to number now let's run this code I would step into it by pressing F8 here as soon as I run through this it shows me this input box here which has this input text box it says enter a number and it has two buttons OK and cancel let me enter a number here let the number be 123 and as soon as I click OK it comes here to the next line I press F8 and this number gets entered here simple enough and uh, there are less chances of anything going wrong but let's say uh, the user here enters not a number but a text string so let's go through this code again I would press F8 here instead of writing uh, entering a number it he enters some text string and I'm entering some gibberish here as soon as I hit OK it shows me this error and it says type mismatch the reason here is that we declared number as long and it cannot hold a string now when I get this runtime error I have these two options I can either end this subroutine or I get into the debug mode if I end this subroutine then whatever has happened so far would remain and we would come out of the sub but if I debug then we would get to that line where there is an issue we can correct it and then we can run the code which remains so let me press debug it shows this line this yellow arrow and I know that there is an error in this line now there are some things that VBA has provided us some tools that we can use to handle these errors the first thing that I want to show you is on error go to label or you can have any keyword here in this say in this case let's say I use on error go to entry error so here I have defined a label I've given a name to it and what I would do is I would come here and I would start that label which would be entry error and here I can type what I want to do so whenever it encounters an error it would quickly jump to entry error and then it would do whatever is mentioned there let me come out of the break mode now let's see within entry error I want to show a message box which says ensure you enter a numeric value only now let's go through this code again so I would press F8 here and here 
we say on error go to entry error it comes here ask the user for a number I enter some text here again I press OK it jumps to entry error and then it would execute this line as soon as I press F8 it says ensure you enter a numeric value only now uh, this is good enough and it has handled the error well which means that if I do not have any value here and if now I run this code it would not enter anything wrong here it will enter only if the user inputs uh, a number or a numeric value but the problem here is that when this subroutine runs and uh, the user is shown this message box ensure you enter a numeric value only I want the user to again see the input box I don't want this to end here because it's coming down and it's ending here so for, for that what we can do is we can come here and we can type resume and a label so in this case let's say resume try again and what I would do is I would come here at the top and I would put this label I would say try again colon similarly what we did here so what happens is if an error is encountered it comes here and then it goes back again so that it becomes a loop until there is no error so let's go through this let's uh, press F8 here I come here it asks a user to enter a number let let me enter some text here I press OK it comes here I press F8 again this line is run this code is run and it says ensure you enter a numeric value only I press OK and then it goes again and then it asks for a number again I again press enter some text again it comes down same thing happens and I would again be asked to enter a number now let me close this and let me come out of this let's try this again and this time now we have created a system where if there is an error it would keep on asking the user until the user enters the right number here but let's see what happens when we enter the right thing in this case I'm asked to enter a number I type a number let's say 147 and I click OK and what happens it will come to this line now when I press F8 this number gets entered here but the problem is that it would still go and and it will still execute this error entry error part which means that now it will show me this then it will again go back it will keep on showing me this and I can go back again ask for a number which is incorrect I don't want this so what lacks here is that somehow I need to to provide uh, a method where it would exit this sub as soon as it this is uh, executed and there is no error so what I would do here is I would type exit sub and what this would do is if I have everything perfectly done if I enter a number it's entered here it exits the sub these lines are never executed and which is exactly what we want here let me come out of the break mode let's try this press F8 I enter a number here let's say one three a big number I press OK I press F8 the number gets entered here and then the sub ends so this is now almost perfect in the way that we use this so we have learned a couple of things we have learned how to use these labels and whenever there is an error this would jump to that label and then we have also learned how to go back and try again and uh, go back to somewhere back in the code using resume try again I'm using resume uh, try again you can also use go to try again but there is one problem here and uh, uh, the issue is that if you are in an active error and you go back again and if this shows an error then it will not be handled uh, so let me quickly show you this thing go to and I would run this code I press F8 I would enter some text here it comes jumps to entry error I press F8 again it says ensure you enter a numeric value it goes back again and now when I enter some text it would show an error the reason being that you can only have one active error trapping mechanism so in this case I already have this error here I cannot go back again and handle the error again to do that I need to use the keyboard short keyboard uh, keyword resume now uh, everything is fine there's just one issue which is that here let's say I have another thing where I say n is equal to 1 by 0 now I'm de uh, I'm knowingly entering something which would result in an error but what would happen is that in this case if you go through this code and some everything is perfectly executed if 
uh, we execute this line it would jump to entry error the reason being that we have said if there is any error go to entry error now we need to also make sure that it goes to entry error only for specific line of codes not for everything so let's run this oops I need to declare this variable so I would say dim n as say, integer now let's run this code I would press F8 here it says enter a number I would enter a number let's say 12 the number gets entered here it comes here and now there is an error and as soon as it encounters an error it jumps to entry error and this is wrong because now it will say ensure you enter a numeric value only then it will go back again then it will again ask for a number and this loop can keep on going but I don't want this so let me come out of the break mode what I need to do here is either I handle this separately or I let VBA show me the error in this case none of this is happening so to do that I would come here and I would say on error go to zero this would neutralize any error trapping statement here so let's say here I have on error go to entry error when VBA encounters this line it understands that now this has been neutralized if anything happens after this line then we should not use this statement so what happens is now if I run this code I press F8 I come here I enter a number 123 I press OK the number gets entered here now it comes here and then it shows an error it says division by zero so now what we can do is we can either correct this or we can handle this error separately so let's say uh, we say on error go to division error and here we can then type something like division error and we can show a message box ensure there is no division error or maybe we can say there is a division error and now when we run this code let me come out of the break mode go full screen here now when we run this code I press F8 comes here it asks for a number I would give that number to this input box I press F8 I press OK now I press F8 again the number has been entered this gets neutralized now a new error statement starts and here as soon as it encounters an error it jumps to division error and it shows there is a division error and then we exit the sum. So this is how you can uh, use error go to uh, statements but make sure that you have neutralized it otherwise what would happen is whenever it encounters an error it would do what it has been told to do. Another statement that we can use is on error resume next. So let me create another function here another sub here let's say the sub is resume next and in this case what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to enter text values here in cell a1 and a2 so I want to enter hello in a1 and how are you in a2 so let me write the code here I would say range a1 dot value is equal to hello and range a2 dot value is equal to how are you now when I run this code let's come here and quickly run this code it enters hello here and how are you here but let's say now I purposely introduce an error here I would say a z z z z z z I know this reference does not exist so let's go back and here if I try and run this code it would show me an error which would be method range of a range of object global field which means that I'm using uh, an object which does not exist now in this case I can handle this error by using the statement on error resume next what it tells VBA is that if you encounter an error in any of these lines ignore that line and jump to the next line this is useful when say you have things like these where uh, say you're running a loop and you know that after certain times the loop is run it would start giving you an error then you can use on error resume next so that it 
then uh, jumps out of the loop and then does whatever is given next but be a bit cautious when you use this the reason for this is that in case here I'm putting something here in cell A1 and the rest of the code is dependent on this and if this shows me an error you would not even come to know because if you have used on error resume next it will not show you a pop-up it will not show you anything all you would know is that all the lines which do not have any error have been executed but what about the lines which have error you would not come to know so it's important that you use this with caution now uh, the last thing that I want to talk about here is the error object and let me first show you what I mean by error object if you type ERR and you press a period key you would see that it has these properties and these methods which means that ERR would be error and then you can get the type or description of the error or you can get the help context help file you can clear the error you can raise a custom error you can get the number of the error there are so many things you can do let me show you how we can use this here in this example what we would do is we would say we would come here at the bottom and we would use message box and here we would get the error description now let's see what happens when we run this code let me come out of the edit mode uh, the break mode and now when I run this code this well this uh, text string is entered in A2 nothing gets entered in A1 because uh, there was an error in that line and here it shows me a message box which says application defined or object defined error which means that if there is an error in this code then I can get the description of the code of the error here if I type say error number then this will show me the error number if I say run this code again it says 1004 now I may not actually know what 1004 is or if you are a VB developer and you want something meaningful meaningful to be shown to the user then what you can do is you can use an if statement and you can say if error number is equal to 1004 then I can show a message box here and I can say check the reference and what this would do is let me do one thing let me put it in the same line so that I don't have to use end if now what this would do is it would execute these lines but it will also show me an error which would say please check the references so now when I run this code it enters how are you here and also says check the reference so this is another way of actually identifying that if there is an error then it will show you some meaningful text instead of some gibberish some numbers or some description that you cannot understand so this is how you can use on error resume next and you can use error objects so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day